Hello everybody, so I'm Flip and I will start with one question. Who here is alive? Alive? Alive, all your body. Congratulations, you are all alive. Each of us, every of us, is organic, bio, alive. And that's the reason actually why I thought five years ago, why the heck should I eat this shit? And uh, I, was, I was eating what was what was provided, I say it every day. <laughs> so now I say every day I'm alive. And uh, I will tell you a short story and how we uh, market our product. So uh, next question is, anybody doesn't know fresh bedding here? Most of you, actually, interesting. Uh, so our marketing to expats uh, is not powerful yet. Uh, so basically, we are a prime service to deliver uh, organic fruits, vegetables, organic meat, and uh, sourdough bread, and um, dairy, and everything uh, to households in the Czech Republic. And we have been running it for five years, and uh, we started you, uh, basically, it's it's online. So you order, and the next day, if you manage to, by the deadline, which is midnight, then the next day you get your box. And uh, in 2009, uh, it was me who ate uh, only raw food, and uh, I I met with my future girlfriend Veronica, who ate also only raw food. Anybody knows raw food here? Living foods or things like this. So basically, this is kind of food that uh, makes you more energetic. It's based on raw fruits and vegetables and nuts and things like that. And sometimes it drives you nuts, what you can do with nuts. And uh, generally it's, it's a very healing process for, for body and mind. I recommend it to everybody to try it out for, for some time. I was eating it for some time and uh, then I realized that out of these fruits that I was eating, uh, none of them I would choose if I could choose, but I could not. And uh, there was no organic supply of fruits and vegetables in the Czech Republic available. At the time there were no farmers markets. The time you had only, or anybody had only here the health stores with uh, non-fresh organic fre uh, vegetables, like lettuce that was two weeks old and things like that. And uh, me and Veronica, we had passion to change this. We were running raw food classes for people and uh, the last question they were leaving was not when the next uh, raw food workshop would be, but where actually can I get the right ingredients to survive until the next raw food workshop. And to, we told them, okay, uh, maybe we will help you one day, but now we don't know. Uh, so, um, we got together two farmers. We, which we which we met somehow, just like emails from our friends and, and distributing apples or whatever. We put together these two farmers. Uh, we found one wholesaler who was bringing into the Czech Republic uh, um, non-organic non uh, vegetables and fruits and we asked him if he could bring also organic for us. So uh, by putting together these three sources, we created actually in September 2009 a small e-shop or not even e-shop, a web page called Fresh Beninki. Uh, we would deliver with love, actually we would, de we would uh, deliver with smile that was uh, grown with love. And uh, our boxes looked like this, we looked like that and we delivered in kind of like this. <laughs> and uh, it was a lot of fun because we had like 10 customers per week and uh, and we had to run a lot of raw food workshops and a lot of uh, company workshops about lifestyle to cover the cost uh, because, uh, because, I mean, to cover our life costs, we, we could not earn any money by selling the, selling the uh, fresh bedding at the time. And that time, it was, we were doing it for actually, for, for ourselves, because we wanted to have a good source of, uh, of food and we were hoping one day it will grow and people will change. Uh, <laughs> for us, uh, this business is about responsibility. That's actually what I realized only, only now when I was looking back in five years, that every single step that we do is uh, based on various kinds of responsible approaches. One of them, the first one that we, that we had at that time already, was towards ourselves. So we wanted to eat raw food, we wanted to eat good food, and we wanted to have the supply of it. And uh, one example of uh, how we still keep having this responsibility and how we uh, change it towards 
anybody, not only towards ourselves, is that uh, in uh, June we actually ran in our company, which at that time it had 40 people, which it has now, and half of the company, which is uh, 18, uh, we started eating raw food only for one week, and people realized tremendous changes. They, they shortened the, the sleep plan, they felt more energetic for, for, sport, for, for doing sports, and uh, their, their, their brain was more efficient, as we saw in, in uh, our uh, business activities. So, responsibility towards ourselves uh, is one of the very important responsibilities. Uh, and then, coming from ourselves, when we are uh, well fed, well, when, when we live uh, happy life, and we, we can we can uh, we can share with somebody else, then we can be responsible with with the earth uh, or towards 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 the planet Earth. This is this is uh, the next step. Uh, we very soon realize that uh, from having good food, uh, it it's very close to to really help the planet Earth not to absorb shit that comes from the, the conventional crop where there is a lot of fertilizers used and not only fertilizers but pesticides and herbicides and shitticides, whatever you can imagine and uh, as English is not my mother language, I'm using some, some words like shit uh, from more, more, more frequently than you would. I'm sorry for that, but I don't feel this, uh, this, uh, this intuitive uh, <laughs> stuff. I should not use it. So, um, so we are responsible, and uh, the responsibility means that we know that organic farmers are cultivating the landscape. And we know that if there were, would be no organic farmers, then approximately in 10 to 12 years, the fields in the Czech Republic would be completely, no, completely unable to produce enough fruits and vegetables, mostly vegetables, because uh, the, there is an like, exponential curve how, the, how, how much fertilizer <coughs> you need every year to get the same production levels, because you still need to add more and more as the soil becomes more uh, or becomes less uh, become, becomes weaker and it doesn't it, it, it's uh, depleted so now uh, for organic farming this is vice versa every single year that you farm organic then the soil is stronger and stronger it's like about you one year you live you live uh, a good lifestyle then it adds you actually it it, it, uh, it reduces your age by one year and if you live one year by by very very unhappy and quick uh, lifestyle full of coffee and things like this, uh, then it can add more than one year to your age. So uh, we are very happy when our farmers are cutting the age of their soil, mm -hmm. and uh, we have lots of farmers, and we are responsible towards towards uh, them also as, to, as towards the people. Not only not only like like this guy cultivate the landscape, let's help him. But uh, we also give give uh, when we when we make business with them, we help we try to help them to, to grow personally. For instance, if we give somebody a loan, we provide somebody we don't give we provide somebody with a loan uh, for production. Uh, like lots of farmers, uh, they have their weak season in winter; they don't produce anything. So uh, we provide them with a loan, and then they have to return the loan back in produce. If they don't manage because their produce is weak or we, we don't want it because of quality, whatever, uh, then we we work with them. It's, it was not a donation, man. This, you need you need to pay this back, and let's make a, let's make a payment calendar installments and whatever. So uh, this is for us very responsible because we want people to to be responsible as well. So uh, we have lots of different farmers now. We have 30 Czech farmers. We have some farmers also abroad. And uh, we have farmers in Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka is a big chapter for us uh, about responsibility again, because it's completely different. Uh, here we are, we are uh, transporting exotic, fresh, ripe fruits by airplanes. Airplanes, CO2 and everything else. How comes? And uh, and uh, first of all, there was a, there was a, a thought that we could do something that nobody else does, and we could do it uh, ecologically. And I was in Sri Lanka, and uh, I, I fell in love with uh, local fruits uh, because I had this past of uh, raw food. I like for one year I was eating only raw food, 
and this is four years ago already, but uh, still I'm, I'm meeting most of raw foods. And in Sri Lanka, you can get the best baby bananas, mangoes, papayas, pineapples, everything the best. It is very good climate and uh, very lovely people. And there is now a very high level, you know Monsanto? Anybody doesn't know Monsanto here? Everybody knows, okay, you don't know. Monsanto is a big giant in the field of fertilizers. Like Agrofert and the Czech Republic multiplied by 1,000. And uh, Monsanto now focuses on Sri Lanka because uh, they made an agreement with uh, the government that they could, that the government gives fertilizers that are really full of shit for free to the, to the, the farmers. And uh, conventional non-organic farmers are cutting jungle basically to, to produce rice. And they walk in, uh, you know, this NASA suites, this space suites. Uh, they, they walk on the field in space suites. I, I saw one guy like this in 10 meters on, ahead of, like, in front of me, and I, could, I had to escape because I had no space suit. And he was, he was just, just praying. And, uh, and these people change the climate, or I mean, the landscape of Sri Lanka. And every single organic farmer doesn't do any piece of this. Every single organic farmer helps the, the globe against the global warming because they keep the jungle and they keep production of oxygen and, and they, they spread love. They get money for their kids if they get money from us, etc. So for us, uh, it was a very good challenge how to get these lovely things uh, to the Czech Republic to be able to pay for, for these uh, fruits uh, in, in dollars, which is for them like a lot of money. Uh, so we found that the Emirates, one of the, the, uh, the, the airlines, they fly actually tourist, tourist flights to Dubai, to Prague, from Sri Lanka, and uh, they have, in most of their flights, they have uh, space, they have room among the baggage, in the baggage room. And uh, so we are putting, if there is room, we are putting our pallet in there, and they just bring it to us. If there is no room, then the pallet waits. So this is the way how we how we are ecological we and how we how we make decisions. We are not we, we are we never go to the hundred percent or hundred ten percent. We are Greenpeace. We will never make any CO2 far or whatever. Basically, we we, we we produce CO2 by our activities, but we, we try to make it 80 20. So for every single CO2 that we produce, we try to really uh, cut any four other pieces of CO2, any four molecules. And we try to help people. So, uh, does it make sense? I mean, my, my English, whatever else so I'm explaining. So, uh, what we really aim to do is <coughs> we are responsible towards our community, towards anybody. We are responsible towards kids because everything that we sell is organic. So, the, the chance that they would be allergic to foods is very low. For instance, the allergy to strawberries. Like some part of allergy to strawberries can be associated with strawberries. The other part of allergy to strawberries can be associated with the fertilizers and herbicides that are used for it. And strawberries are one of the most sprayed items in the, in the basket. Uh, so basically, the kids that eat strawberries from us, they, they can eat it safely. And uh, if they don't have really hard allergy to, to strawberries itself, then uh, uh, they are very happy. And organic strawberries are actually tastier. Organic strawberries have season of six weeks. Mm -hmm. So it's a big, uh, big challenge for us. Uh, how can we change the world within six weeks? Uh, so uh, we, are, we are also responsible towards uh, anybody. We give 100% guarantee of returning money. This is very important for, for our marketing as well. Uh, we are responsible towards our team, where we help people grow. We help anybody grow, and uh, anybody of you, another question. Have you ever uh, seen somebody of your, of, your, of your team, like subordinates, has done a mistake and you, you realize, okay, I will not tell him? Anybody? Okay, so uh, I, I, I have been doing that, I, I had been doing that for, for years, and then I realized it's actually not ethical not to tell him. Because next time he will he will stop doing things uh, well at all. He will stop doing things completely well because uh, he will see okay this was this was okay even though I have made a mistake and uh, if, even if he doesn't see it his subconsciousness takes it as standard 
and we don't want our people to make mistakes as standard. For us, we really want to keep high ethics in the team and not only in the team, in the, in the, in the, also in the community. Mm, that we tell people, we talk to people through, we talk people through problems and uh, we help them to come up with solutions. And it's not easy at all because uh, myself, I'm, I've, I've been one of the guys who was still, we call it in check that we are closing one eye, uh, like we don't see the mistakes. And I was closing my eyes all the time and loving everybody and, and uh, you know, my brothers and sisters and everything. But this was not, this was not uh, the real running the team. This was not helping them grow because that was helping them to become family. But we want to be, to be a working team. Uh, on the uh, 1st September, we were serving fresh young coconuts to like <coughs> thousands of uh, Prague to students or pupils at the, the first classes at grammar schools. It was a very nice occasion and uh, we really enjoyed that. And they enjoyed it actually. Now, we are responsible for packaging. Uh, we basically use carton boxes that are uh, depositable. Even though people sometimes they, they say, why should I pay deposit for this? It's, uh, doesn't, it doesn't even worth the deposit. Uh, yes, it is, because uh, the deposit is the, everybody deposits his, his responsibility towards the uh, environment. We, we are able to rotate it five times, and people pay 25 crowns deposit for this. So, uh, <laughs> where we are really responsible, and I will tell you a few more words about this, is uh, in marketing. Because uh, there is, uh, I, I could feel, I, I worked before in consulting and uh, I was running a big company in Serbia for telecommunications, for, for new mobile price plans. And I saw how easy it is to create like one billion of check rounds income by changing the, the strategy of communication, not by really changing the price plans. And uh, I realized that we actually made people spend more, we, realized that we made them talk more, we made them uh, get more radiation from mobile phones, whatever and somebody can, can, be, uh, can, can, can be affected by that, somebody not. Uh, we just change their lifestyles by manipulation. And what I realized is that we really want to produce, we want to communicate playfully and without manipulation. So we have a lot of videos that we are, we, it took us quite a few years to come up with nice videos. We had to structure the business first, so uh, now I will show you in the end one of our videos on young coconut. Uh, we have uh, lovely dreaded cars, and uh, we have lots of lovely fruits and vegetables that we are, or even bread and rolls and whatever that we are putting on our uh, on our social networks, and people share them like 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 crazy. We had the ones a uh, small uh, reddish potato <coughs> with uh, with uh, with the uh, hard shape, and it got like uh, one thousand of fans and uh, like fifty thousand of, of viewings at Facebook. And uh, now we have uh, basically like nine thousand or something uh, uh, Facebook fans, and most of them came by pictures like this. So. Mm, uh, what's the difference between 2009 and 2014? Uh, we had very little number of customers when we started, obviously. Uh, now we have 1,500 families. That's why I was quite surprised how many of you doesn't know us, because most of you are, are primary target group, people who, who think about their life and want to make it better. Uh, I don't know whether you live or in Prague, uh, or, or just here, just here for, for, uh, for, uh, for these days. Our sales uh, is basically uh, more, like 150 times uh, higher, and uh, we 44 million this year is our expectation. That is actually, I think it will, will, will go over that even even like two or three millions. We are 40 people now, and we are <laughs> our readiness to grow is, is uh, very high. We are now able to, to open new production channels and new distribution channels. Um, so what are our marketing channels? We, we invented the market, the organic market. There was no, no real communication in the, in, no real marketing communication before we started. And people thought that uh, organic, local and healthy is the same. And 
What do you think? Anybody thinks uh, is different, each of the items, like me? Or do you think organic, local, and healthy is the same? It's, it's, not, it's not the same. Organic means that... Uh, <coughs> anybody knows the definition of organic here? Have you heard it? Anyone? So what is it? I'm not sure what the definition is, but yeah, yeah, but how do you feel? Uh, it should be something that grows without any. Uh, um, the I think the seed of the, the product should be natural, should be a hybrid. Uh, the other thing is it has to be grown in natural conditions, uh, and it shouldn't have um, added uh, pesticides or uh, uh, fertilizers. Uh, only can, I think get all the natural, the natural um, insecticides and some, some, like herbs and so on. They can um, uh, add chemicals to it. Um, uh, that's a lot of know. You're an expert. Come and help us this month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a job. So please. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So uh, that's it. Basically, it can be it can be shortened in one sentence. In the organic means products that were created. Uh, in ecological way. This is how even EU states, states that. So it's a product of ecological agriculture. Whatever it is. It can be meat, which might not be healthy for somebody, it might be healthy for somebody else. It can be bread, which might be made of uh, white, uh, white flour, which uh, is definitely not healthy. But it might be organic because it might be naturally produced. And uh, so, so this, is, this is organic. Local means something that grows basically around somewhere 200 kilometers around Prague and it doesn't mean what is actually happening with the production. It just means that Prague it doesn't, it, it hasn't gone around the Czech Republic on a track for 1000 kilometers. And uh, Czech, Czech farmers actually spray much more, if they are not built, they are conventional, they spray much more than German farmers. Because here uh, it's, just, uh, it's just like a habit of spraying. Well, so are you saying that the farmers markets where some of us do shop regularly are, are dangerous in this way, in the sense mm. that these farmers who are selling in the markets are selling products which have been sprayed? I would say that you should focus on organic farmers in the markets. And uh, if you find any, then shop, shop with them, even though they are much more expensive. Because mm -hmm. really, Czech farmers, even though they are actually meaning local, mm -hmm. is for me, mm -hmm. if they are local, non organic, and if they answer my question, are you organic? If they say, oh, I'm quite organic. Mm -hmm. If they answer it like this, then I, go, I prefer to go to supermarket. Uh -huh. uh, these people might be smiling, yeah. but they don't know about doing anything wrong. Yeah. That is the thing. They, most of them, they, are, they, are not, they, are not, uh, they don't want to, to cheat you. Because they believe what they are doing. But their belief is different from mine. Yes, but they, they also, they're also, I think, a little bit uh, overly clever about some because I do know that some of these farmers and the fruit, uh, uh, the orchard people, do spray their apple trees, for example, or their pear trees in order to, with sugar or some substance that will produce a sugar product. This is common, I think, it's all over the world, but I know they do it in this country as well. Yeah, there is also a lot of practices that are, or things, uh, strategies that are used, and yeah. <clears throat> what, what I think, as, as you said, it is easy to spray also with natural like uh, yeah, but it's not, seaweed. It's, but it's things like this. Spraying with sugar to make it sweeter it doesn't make yeah, it yeah, yeah. It's too yeah, much. Yeah, so, so that's, that's not, that's not yeah. the organic approach. Yeah, so uh, I should just wash it. No. Uh, no. Uh, it's if, you, if you wash it's yourself, it will just make your. It's <coughs> like, you know, if, if, if somebody says so. If, if I if I smell, then I can get washed. But if if I if I I mean I can I can take a shower. But if I if I feel if I feel bad, a shower would not help me. So it's the same as with fruits and vegetables. The inside. Is, to your skin. Uh, so Which you can't wash with It's spray. The spraying is done in the, during the growth process, so that it gets inside the the, the fruit or the vegetable, whatever kind of spray. It's not it's not something that stays on the yeah, exactly. And uh, also, but not in everything. No, it's not in everything. There is like a list of top 10 foods that you should buy organic, and then top 10 foods that you don't need to buy. Exactly. Like avocados are one of the things you don't need to buy organic. So I think that's an important difference. That uh, not all that's not organic. Is that? You know, the thing is that I know. 
we are talking about responsibility. And if you want to be responsible towards the earth, towards the, the community you live in, then anything that is not organic is wrong. Because my, my grandma, she produces organic apples. Anybody else can produce anything organic. They don't need to have a certificate, but using fertilizers and pesticides is a big shit. It's, it's, it's not enviable. And it, the, the, our mother earth doesn't like it. So, so this is, this is my, my responsibility driven approach. That's why we so far don't communicate. We might change this, but we, we don't communicate to people that there are top 10 foods that, that they should eat organic and top 10 foods that they, they don't need to. Even though it would not change their shopping pattern with us because we have great avocados. So and we, the, top ten? Uh, the top 10 you should eat organic is strawberries, spinach, celery uh, stalks. Then it's uh, it's nectarines, peaches, uh, mm, cherries, and some some other uh, like lettuce, lots of leafy things. So this this you really you really should buy organic. It's very it's very life changing experience. So now uh, just just to finish this, and then we can get to questions also in the in the uh, where we be here for. Um, so what we use now uh, in this market is that we use sort of word of mouth. Uh, because uh, our customers usually love us, sometimes they don't, but uh, it, it, that also happens. But if they do love us, then uh, they talk about us, and uh, we give them sometimes even opportunities to talk about us more. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a lovely newsletter that uh, we, we put a lot of, uh, a lot of recipes in the information, and there is, it's not a, not a selling newsletter, it's a community building newsletter. And uh, now we are, we are putting a little bit of sales information in there as well, but it will never be the, the majority of, I mean, it will not be the, the, main, the main thing we communicate. We, we just sometimes, if we have uh, lots of nectarines, then we sell, okay, we have nectarines in sale as well, but uh, we focus on recipes. And our Sunday newsletter is the one that you should read. Our Wednesday newsletter is the one about maybe some nectarines or what is, what is remaining in the stock. Uh, what we do a lot is interviews uh, in, in articles. Uh, we don't pay normally for advertisement, uh, but uh, the, the journalists are very keen on talking, on listening to our story and writing about it. And, uh, and it's also very interesting that we used to be a couple, now we are not, Miss Veronica, but for, for three years we were like, like a family company, now it's, it's a friend's company, which is also nice, it's actually even better. Um, what we did and actually we will do again with very big success is Google Ads because we are a niche shop and there is a very quick uh, way when somebody searches for, for organic fruits then to get into our e shop shopping. So now uh, you do that in multiple languages or you check and Yeah, we, we have to, we have, yeah, we have to check in English, we are doing good. So so uh, we have also the Google Ads in, in two languages. And it's actually very interesting how the prices for Google Ads are different. Mm. In Czech language, we are paying like three times less for a click than in English language. And how but much do you pay for a click? I'm just curious. We pay very little. We pay like uh, four to five crowns per click because we have a very, very good guy who helped us optimize the, the advertisement. We used to pay 20 to 25 and now we get a bigger conversion and uh, four times lower. lower Sometimes we pay about 300 crowns. Okay, okay. It, you know, it's a bit different <laughs> because your customer has yeah. bigger value when, when, he's, when he starts yes. shopping with you. So, uh, but it does mean that there's not that much competition. There's actually no competition in organic food delivery because it's very difficult logistically and uh, it's interesting because we want to build a team of people who are basically, uh, who are not uh, educated, some of them, some of them are, and uh, and we want to we want to run this company as a as a, a like profit company and uh, friendly company and responsibility driven company, which makes it uh, which is probably the, the only way how to make organic business work because we need to to move the la I mean, to transport the love from the nature towards our team to the customers. We can have. Like uh, it's, it's like marketing, marketing but uh, it's basically if you if you take love as a religion, then we are all religious, aren't we? But it's in, you have to go and find new people by converting them in a sense. Whereas with Google AdWords, you've got people who are looking for you, looking for your product. Yeah, yeah, you have to do both of those things. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's easier when we find people, when some people find us. Yes. It's much easier, much much cheaper for, from the marketing point of view. On the other hand, some of them might think in Czech Republic there is a big misbelief, as you actually asked uh, about the farmers market. The people think that at farmers markets everything mm -hmm. is kind of organic. And then people come to our website because they look for organic delivery. Okay, tomorrow I can't go to the farmer's market. Let's have something delivered. And uh, they see, ah, oh, fuck, it's twice, it's twice more expensive. What the heck do they think the French Beninki? They got the effect for high prices or what? So, so, so uh, this, is, this is the thing. Like, some people are searching for somebody else, not for us. And they click on uh, they click on our uh, website and they make uh, they 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 spread bad image of our company because then they say to everybody ah, I looked at the Fresh Benicky website you remember they won this competition and they are so so shitty spending it back. sorry <laughs> see how big emotions it makes uh, in, in me so now so it's. It's, it's different. When we choose our segment of people, we let's say we focus on uh, on international schools because we know that fa that I am sure that most of you have kids in international schools. No, uh, anybody here? <laughs> no, nobody. <laughs> really? Okay. So so basically, we started cooperating with ISP in Nebuchadnezzar, and uh, this is like the biggest international school, and uh, this is uh, this is target customers that we chose. Because we, we know that there people uh, there is a high probability that they would know more about organic uh, than uh, people from grammar school or me, butilki, whatever, uh, where where there are uh, like different types of people, but none of them knows the difference between farmer and organic farmer. So uh, yeah, so so Google Ads are, are interesting. Going way to the point. Uh, what we do as well is even promotion. We realize it's uh, it's very good for people to taste our product because first it's a it's a lovely event where we can show that uh, that actually uh, the true tomatoes are still still in the world, still available, and that uh, there are the apples that taste like uh, from their grandmothers uh, lots of years ago. And also, uh, it makes it makes the contact the, the people realize that, that it is worth paying the price because the price is higher. Uh, what we don't use is uh, we don't use printed ads because uh, it doesn't uh, bring our customers, bring us customers. It is uh, it's also expensive. Uh, the radio is actually the, uh, also lots of radios they, they are chasing us. They want to have advertisements because they think that we are kind of a local company that could advertise in this kind of radio channel and uh, it's, not, it's not good for us because it doesn't uh, create conversions either. Uh, what we will do soon is powerful CEO because uh, as cell, powerful, not CEO, cell, powerful cell, uh, it, uh, yes, we are a new shop and also uh, we have lots of stories that we can share. For instance, that one about top 10 foods that's one of the one of the sales stories because people are looking for what should I buy organic, what should, what I don't need to buy organic, and for all these we can create uh, blog articles. So uh, we are working on this now. Uh, also, what we are working on is individualized newsletters so that we don't sell to vegans uh, organic meat offer, and so that we don't sell to people who don't shop. <coughs> lots of shopping information, and we, we sell we sell much more much more content and. Uh, text that would build the, the trust. Uh, so how we develop our brand is still, do I have like yes, minutes? We have to wrap up a minute. Okay, okay, so, uh, so let's, let's skip this and I will, what we want to have in 2020 is uh, plenty of organic food grown with love, <laughs> sold with a smile and eaten with joy. Uh, so this is our mission 2020. One day you might hear about it, and uh, this is our team where we we, where we got uh, this award by Ernst and Young, uh, competition of uh, of entrepreneur of the year. And uh, let me show you um, let me show you one minute video, and we are finished. Uh, just to just for you to see. <laughs>
that's it for this video. Last question today. That was my question. So, so uh, 5,000 euros, anybody get his hands? 5,000 crowns? Uh, 10,000, okay, let's go up, let's go up. So 5,000 crowns, 25,000 crowns. Uh, 10,000 crowns? 50,000. 50,000 crowns, 50? 50, 50? 50,000. 50, that's correct, actually. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it was 50. Including all, all, the, all the things, uh, and uh, also including the advertisement in YouTube that brought us 90,000 of, uh, of views. So, so we got more than 100,000 of views and then uh, this advertisement on YouTube. So, so this is how we advertise our products and uh, we love it. So uh, thank you for... for, for